Hello everyone, this is Kinko LT. Last some videos, we have know how to control the lead box by the mobile phone and by the switch panel uh, for menu country. And in this video, I will tell you how to use input port connect with the sensor. Then you can triangle for output and also you can triangle for send alarm message by email uh, for notification. So let's begin how to do this with the Home Assistant. Uh, this is our Home Assistant. And we can open the node red. These nodes we have created in last video. And this is for uh, switch. And this is for menu country, update the state. In this video, we will use the entity ID to uh, create the sensor. The first, we need to create uh, the sensor of the Home Assistant. We need to modify the YAML file, just like this sentence. This document is on Home Assistant. This is template binary sensor, because we will show you the digital input. Uh, this is use the sensor for Door sensor, PIR sensor, use the digital input type of the sensor. So we can see this is we needed. We can create a motion sensor. We can copy this. And in Home Assistant, you can install a file edit add on. This can edit the YAML file of the configuration. You can choose this config folder and this configuration YAML file. And we have already opened. This is the default. And we can paste this edit. We can add a sensor and use the machine. Uh, this is the name, is yes, movement and we save. After we save, we need to restart the Home Assistant and go to the server country and restart. OK. When the Home Assistant on the Raspberry Pi will be restarted, after we restart, you can open the website again and use the node ladder to add the uh, new entity ID node. Okay, now we open the node red. We use the input. You can see our protocol. When the input is triangle, it will auto send this information. Relay alarm. Why? Why means which input have triangled? Uh, just OK. So we can place a switch. Can drive this. And if we use the input one, input one is this string. If receive this string means input one is triangled and this shows contains down. And we use the entity ID. This is entity ID. And we use a function. When receive the information we let the sensor state change to true. MSG payload down. And this home assistant, the ten sensor type is binary type. And the name and the device class we can see 
we can see the development tool. This is we have created the binary sense movement, and this is the name move, movement. We just copy and press, and the device class. Device class is merge. Then we press down. Also, we can add a debug. See this receive from controller. Okay, we can deploy. Now you can see there is a sensor movement we have created on this screen. And also you will send you will see this is on our mobile phone. There are movement movement sensor. We can open the debug debug window. And uh, let's use the twins uh, short for this input one. And I shot for this. You can see the information is changed. And the icon is also changed. We can use a uh, inject to see how it changed. This we can inject uh, true, and uh, we set this is for false. And uh, we connect to this, deploy. You can see I press false. This icon is changed, and I press true. This icon is changed. So now we just uh, receive this input sensor uh, for the message. We can change the state. The sensor state is changed on the Home Assistant. Then you can use the automation in Home Assistant. But this needs to write the code. But I will tell you how to uh, automatic country on Node-RED. It's easy, almost not needed to write the code because the Home Assistant needed your uh, know some knowledge of the program. Use this Node-RED is easy. When we try code, we just use a line. That means I, when the sensor is triangle, and really one is on, we can deploy. We can deploy and uh, we can try to triangle. You can see when I press, this is really one. So when I shot for this point, input one is triangled, then really one is opened. So it's very easy, just uh, I add a line on the node red. And the icon is changed. If you want to reset this, you just uh, use a reset command. You can have a delay. Connect delay. Delay. Three seconds will reset for the sensor state. We can use a function and this time we can set the sensor is false. False down. And the reset for this, we just use this line to this. When triangle delays three seconds, and reset the sensor. 
so we can deploy and pay attention to the icon when I press when I inf shot for the input you can see it's, it's changed this is changed now I think it's very easy to automatic uh, turn on the light one and if you change it change the line if you want to turn on the light too just add this line to, to this point we can deploy and then we check again okay you can see this light 2 is on now we can add a function to send an alarm message if you need I send an email to you we just use the email notes this is email we just place it this way and also you can see this is social notes you can also uh, write a Twitter or send an email just according to your choose which note we can connect this line and double click and this is email where the email address you want to send and this is your email supply service you can use Gmail or other uh, email service and this is your email ID and the password we can uh, input an email for a test like this I send to this email address this is my email and uh, this is SMTP service and the user user ID and the password okay we press down uh, we need to add a function I have got use this function because we need to send, set the email topic and the content I have copied this this three sentence one the topic is your email topic you can set change your any you need it and this payload payload means the email content uh, we can set uh, some people may in your home and uh, we press down and uh, we we'll deploy now I try go try go the input okay you can see it's sending this is the to email topic and this is the co email content people may people in your home and this is the payload so you just fill this and this content you can send any information uh, to your email address such as when the sensor has detect some sound state changed uh, such as the uh, temperature and the humidity or the PI sensor or the smoking or the gas have leak or the water leak all can send a message to the email so this is useful uh, this video I think you have know how to use the input part and set the email by the notification in next video we will make more interesting project thanks for watching